Welcome, welcome again to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also see and appreciate the beauty in the simpler problems. So today we're still at the MIT 2022 Integration B. Uh, today we are at semifinal number one, and our problem of choice is uh, problem number three. Uh, this is within the topic of logarithm and exponents. Um, and uh, yeah, this happens to be the last uh, problem in left uh, in the MIT semifinal set of questions for us to solve. So uh, our problem is very interesting. Uh, it is the integral from x equals to a half to two of the natural logarithm of a natural logarithm of x plus one over x over natural logarithm of x squared minus x plus 17 over four. So it's a beautiful problem. Now, before I jump onto the solution, I'd like to shout out to our subscribers. Thank you so, so, so much for your continued support. We don't take your support for granted. Your support is the reason we come here time and again. Uh, for our first time visitors, uh, just a quick, uh, uh, description of what we do here. We do go out there, look for interesting problems, and we come back with some solutions that we uh, come up with. And then um, for our repeating uh, visitors uh, who have been subscribed, we just uh, would like to ask you, uh, if you can, uh, please pause the video and subscribe to our channel. Your support will go a long way in giving us the needed, the much needed visibility uh, to just keep us motivated at this. So um, jumping on to the solution uh, to this problem, um, the first thing I'd like to do is to rearrange a few things. Uh, so looking at the denominator, um, we could uh, try to express it uh, in a more succinct fashion. Um, so x squared minus x plus 17 over 4, these first two terms can be expressed as uh, x minus a half squared minus a quarter. And then we add the 17 plus four. Now, negative a quarter plus 17 over four uh, results into uh, 16 over four. So 16 divided by four is the same as four. Um, and so um, this denominator now becomes x minus half squared uh, plus four. We could also express the numerator in a fashion that uh, matches what is in the denominator. And how we would do that is first by expressing log of x plus one over x. Uh, the x plus one over x is the same as x plus one over x squared uh, square root. Um, so we can take a half uh, into the constant part, take just using the rules of logarithm, um, and so we have uh, the integral of uh, natural logarithm of uh, natural logarithm of um, a half uh, log x plus one over x squared over x minus half squared plus four. Um, so um, we do have um, everything here um, looking interesting, but the x plus one over x squared can also be expressed as x minus one over x squared plus four y, because x plus one over x squared is the same as x squared plus two plus one over x squared, and x squared minus one over x squared is the same as x squared minus two plus uh, one over x squared. So you just need to add four to the negative two here to make uh, the positive two that is still uh, obtained in this expression here. So uh, we have uh, the numerator here uh, with a plus four and also the denominator with a plus four. And so we can now go to use the rules of logarithm to separate these uh, three, the constant here, the numerator, part uh, with the log functions and then the denominator as well. So using the rules of logarithm, this is the same as the integral from x equals to a half to two of the log of half plus the natural logarithm of the natural logarithm of x minus one over x squared plus four, then minus the denominator here minus 
natural logarithm, natural logarithm of x minus a half squared plus four. Now, half is the same as two to the power negative one. And so we can always take this uh, power uh, into the constant position here. And so that becomes now negative log two plus natural logarithm plus, uh, of natural logarithm of x minus one over x squared plus four minus natural logarithm of natural logarithm of x minus a half squared plus four. Uh, and so we can now uh, separate these three integrals into in these three different components into three different integrals. We have the blue, we have the green and the purple. The blue here is just an integral of a constant and that can be easily obtained as um, just negative two, negative log, na uh, negative natural logarithm two times x with the limits applied as uh, shown here. And so uh, this is the same as negative log two, the natural logarithm two, uh, times two minus a half, and two minus half is the same as three over two. And so the answer uh, of the blue integral is negative three over two uh, log two. Next step now is to deal with the green integral. Um, so as you can see here, uh, we could always try to substitute um, for x with an exponential uh, function. So let x be equal to the power t. And so what that means is that the x dt is equal to e to the power t, uh, since the derivative of e to the power our, our variable is the same as the same function. And so dx here is the same as e to the power t uh, dt. And then when x equals to a half of the lower limit here, uh, half um, uh, is equals to e to the power t, and therefore uh, t is equals to natural logarithm of a half. When x equals to two, uh, two is equals to e to the power t, and therefore t is equals to uh, log natural logarithm of two. And so this integral here becomes um, substituting for x, we have the lower interval, uh, natural logarithm of a half, upper interval, uh, natural logarithm two, the natural logarithm, natural logarithm where x is, we have e to the power t, where one over x is the same as e to the power negative t squared plus a quarter plus four, uh, across all the brackets, uh, e to the power t dt. So um, this now becomes um, log, natural logarithm of natural logarithm of e to the power 2t minus two plus e to the power negative 2t plus four. Now this negative two interacts with the positive four. And so we have e to the power 2t inside the two log functions plus e to the power negative t, 2t plus two. So this is the same as uh, e to the power t plus e to the power negative t squared um, and so the next thing is this constant can be shifted out to a constant position. So we have natural logarithm of two, natural logarithm of e to the power t plus e to the power negative t um, times e to the power t uh, dt, okay? And the next thing we could do is uh, half is the same as e to the power, I mean, to the power negative one. And so we can now uh, play around and make this negative log two. And so integral is from now negative log two to the log two, natural log logarithm of two of um, integrating of uh, log natural logarithm of two, natural logarithm of e to the power t plus e to the power negative t, uh, close all the brackets times e to the power t uh, dt. So we can separate this into two integral. We have the negative domain, negative uh, from negative log two to zero, and then from zero to log two. Now uh, we could now remove this negative sign by saying let t be equal to negative y, and therefore dt is equals to negative dy. And so this um, yellowish integral now is uh, from log, uh, two to zero, and since dt is equals to negative dy, we have this negative sign, natural logarithm of twice the natural logarithm of e to the power uh, negative y in place of t plus e to the power y in place of negative t, we have now positive y uh, times in place of 
power t here is the power t now becomes the power negative y dy. So um, since we have a negative sign here, we can now flip the limits and the lower limit goes to the top. And so we have log of twice natural logarithm of e to the power negative y plus e to the power y, close the bracket, times e to the power negative y dy. So we can now shift uh, the variables from y to t. Um, and so we have uh, the integral from t equals to zero to t equals to log two of natural logarithm of two natural logarithm of e to the power negative t plus e to the power t times close of bracket e to the power negative t dt. Um, so these integrals look quite similar except for the last term here. And so we can now add them uh, into one integral by saying that this is the same as natural logarithm of twice natural logarithm of e to the power t plus e to the power negative t uh, times in bracket e to the power t plus e to the power uh, e to the power negative t. So this is the same as twice cosh t or hyperbolic cosine t, and it's also twice hyperbolic cosine t. So therefore, our integral is of the integral from zero to log two, natural log two, to natural log of two, uh, natural log uh, two cosh t, close all the brackets times two cosh t. And so um, this is our integral there. Um, we probably could reduce it further, but I think it's good to keep it like that. Then going on to the purple integral, um, we could also substitute uh, for x minus a half by a hyperbolic sine, twice hyperbolic sine t. So let x minus half be equal to two uh, sinh t, and this is with the goal of getting a four as a constant here and factoring it out. Um, so uh, dx dt here is the same as uh, twice cosh t or hyperbolic cosine t, and so dx is equals to twice uh, cosh t dt. Now when x equals to a half, half minus a half is equals to zero which is equal to two sinh t, and therefore at that lower limit, zero is equal to two sinh t, and t is equal to zero. When x equals to two, that means that two minus a half is equal to two uh, sinh t, and that means that two minus a half is equal to twice e to the power t minus e to the power negative t over two, and when these twos cancel, so we have two minus a half, equals to e to the power t minus the power negative t. What this means is that if the power t seems to be equal to e to the power t, and so e to the power t equals to two, and therefore log uh, t is equals to log two. Now substituting everything back into that equation, um, our integral becomes um, uh, the integral from t equals to zero to log two, of uh, natural logarithm of natural logarithm of uh, into bracket uh, two sinh t squared plus four times two cosh t. Now uh, this here we can pull uh, four out and so we have sinh uh, squared t plus one and since we know that cosh squared x minus sinh squared x equals to one, that means that uh, sinh square t plus one the same as cos square t. Now we have a four here. So that means that we have the integral being log of natural log of twice cos square t. Um, this, sorry, we have an errata here. And that errata comes from um, this not being here, but this being here. So that uh, now we have uh, the two going out here. So we have the integral from uh, t equals to zero to log two of natural logarithm of twice, the natural logarithm of two cos t close all brackets uh, times two cos t. And that is uh, the result from the purple. As you can see, this expression here is pretty similar to what was gotten on the green side. And so if we know that our original integral uh, from x equals to two to a 
at x equals from x equals to a half to x equals to two of the natural logarithm of natural logarithm of x plus one over x over natural logarithm of x squared minus x plus uh, 17 over four being equal to the neg uh, integral from the same in the same domain of uh, uh, negative log two and then uh, the int the green integral and then the purple minus the purple integral and since we know that the blue amounted to negative three over two log two and the green integral resulted into uh, zero, the integral uh, from t equals to zero to log two of log uh, twice the natural logarithm of two cos t cross of bracket times two cos t minus the same uh, integral we realize that these cancel out. And so the answer for our integral is negative uh, three over two uh, log, um, log two. And this is our final answer. Thank you so, so much for paying attention. It was an absolute pleasure. Um, trying to solve this problem. I hope you admire, uh, you appreciate and you know, see the beauty in the solution. I certainly see it. Um, until next time, um, thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please uh, subscribe. Bye-bye.